How far will real estate prices drop? In this video, we're gonna give you our prediction of what we see happening in the real estate market, specifically more in Florida, because that's the market that we know. And we're getting started right now. If you're looking to buy or sell a home in the Venice, Sarasota, Northport, Inglewood areas, make sure to call, text, or email us. I am a local realtor. Here, my information will be in the description box below. Phone number is 941-221-1897. Call or text at any time. Always gonna have your best interest and happiness in mind when buying or selling a home in the area. So. Home prices are falling slightly, at least in our market, yes. in the Venice area. But how far will they fall? And first and foremost, how long will, will they fall? Falling? Yeah. The real estate market was crazy pretty much throughout the country, especially here in Florida. A lot of people were moving down, so that created a lot of demand. And prices just kept going up, up, up. And they are now finally, after two years, dropping yeah and they were going up so fast and so so much so quickly yes. that it was just obviously unsustainable it was just something that you, you you knew sooner or later something had to give and it was bare minimum level out if not what we always called for was a correction, correction. Yes. you know some people were crying crash 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 which i guess we'll see how that plays out but as far as our prediction of how far they will fall we'll get into that a little bit more but the question is how long will they fall first i think so right now it's winter and winter is the busy time of year here in Florida for real estate market transactions and that's because a lot of the snowbirds are here um, and a lot of people are wanting to move out of the cold states to you know make the permanent move or to do the snowbird thing. We've already started to see a little more demand. Prices are still falling though and I do think will have a little more demand maybe prices will level out for a little while and then during summer we're going to continue to see more price drops because that's when the real estate market is kind of like at its low point and not as many real estate transactions take place and i think that's pretty telling what she just said right there demand is up right now this time of year but prices are still going down so yeah once the demand goes away too i think we're going to see prices drop even more Right now, we're just barely below the level of what you could saw, say of leveling out. You know, it's just a little bit lower than that. But that I think is kind of a the starting indicator of what is to come. And yeah, I think we're going to see those prices continue to go down. And I think a lot of this is going to be predicated on interest rates. You know, once interest rates go back down, hopefully eventually, then yeah, prices probably will start to come back up. But and until that happens, more demand as well. So more people buying because the interest rates are low. So now it comes the seller market. It's a, a cycle. It's a never ending cycle. Yeah. So until, until those interest rates change, I think we're going to continue to see prices go down. So this could be lasting for a while. We could be looking at, you know, from what a lot of what I'm hearing based on the news and reports and whatever else those interest rates are probably gonna take another year or two before we start seeing them to drop. So how much will they drop is the question of the day. We've always said, again, correction, not crash. Now, crash, I think, feel like is somewhat of a subjective term. Some people, I've heard some people say it's like 20, anything below 25%. Us personally, we've always thought about 20 to 25% is maybe what we would see just because that's about how much places went up from like around 2020. Some properties even doubled in, in appreciation in price. So if they come down 25%, I wouldn't call that a crash. Like they would have to come down, say a home in 2020 was worth 250,000 and it's now worth 450,000. Well, if it comes back down to say 350, I don't call that a crash. But if it comes down to 200,000, maybe that's an indication of a crash because it's now worth less than what it was in 2020 and before prices went up. And some people would still call that a crash because it went down so, if it goes down that much within a year, but it's like, it's still way up. It went up within a year. Yeah, <laughs> to, to me, for it to really consider be a crash, I think you would have to look at, look, appreciation is gonna normally go like this if there's not all these dips and valleys, right? So if it, you know, comes up really high and then comes back down and it's still above where this line would be, then that's not really a crash. I think that's what we're gonna see. You know, maybe it'll come back to about where that line would be, a nice steady line, mm -hmm. or it's gonna end up a little higher yet, I think. So I, think it's I call that a correction. Up, yeah, I think it's gonna end up a little higher. I don't think we're gonna see prices drop back down to 2020 levels. I think they are going to stay a little bit higher, probably not as high as 20, 2021, 2022, but I do think they are going to stay higher. I think there's a bunch of other factors that go into why 
I personally think, and I think you would agree with this on the correction versus crash. And first of all, inventory is building, but it's not like a huge surge of inventory. It's going up pretty significantly for sure. There's definitely been less home sales, but what we're starting to see also happen now is less people are also putting the home on the market because they know they're not able to get that top dollar for it anymore. So you have a much more educated consumer on both ends of those transactions. So now you kind of almost have like this stalemate and it really makes everything take a long time to see changes. Also, you gotta keep in mind, a lot of people bought houses with really low interest rates and their homes appreciated a bunch. So it's gonna be really hard to see a lot of places go into foreclosure. It's gonna be hard to incentivize people to wanna sell that home and then now go into a place that costs them more with a higher interest rate. And a lot of people also bought cash. So if you paid cash for your home, you don't want to take a loss on selling your home and going to another one that it's going to be more expensive. Like it doesn't really make sense to do that. Yeah. So I think while it is good and promising to see prices go down from the stance that yes, we are seeing inventory building. I think we're going to start to see that slow down a little bit more as far as how quickly it's building because people don't really have much reason to sell and until interest rates come down and and or inventory builds to the point where prices come down it just makes it hard for everyone to want to move i think maybe the one market sector that i've been seeing sort of cracks in is airbnb i've been hearing a lot of people mm -hmm. saying how they're having a hard time renting out their airbnbs so that could free up some inventory i guess we'll see yeah maybe a lot of people that do have airbnbs it's not doable to keep the airbnb going so they're gonna be listing it but at the same time, if they bought so low, they could just do a longer rental instead of airbnb and it out, just do a longer rental and at least the mortgage would be paid for. Yeah, and that's why I think, again, we're not gonna see that 2008 crash. It's not the same situation. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of people point out, just because it's not the same situation doesn't mean it can't crash. You know, no, no right. two crashes are the same. Absolutely agree. But I just don't think we're gonna see that kind of a crash yeah. based on all the data, all the factors that are being put into the mix. And I think a lot of like the demand for people wanting to move to different areas and the work from home thing, like a lot of that's gonna be here to stay. There's gonna be also a lot of people getting called back to the office. So it's gonna kind of even out. And I think we're just kind of starting to see a lot of that all come into effect all at the same time right now. And I do think that a lot of people that, you know, get called back down to the office, they might just wanna look for a remote job because now that's a possibility that it wasn't there before. And probably one of the biggest factors will be the economy. If we go into a recession, we might see prices continue to drop or maybe even a crash because now it's not a matter of is there inventory or not, is there demand or not. It's like the economy is literally crumbling. So that will have a big impact in the housing market because now people might be losing their jobs and now they can't afford a mortgage. So we'll see how that plays out. Yeah, I definitely think that's going to be a very big lever that could change a lot of our predictions. Yes. Again, there's always so many variables to consider and just one of them changing dramatically can change everything. Yes, definitely. But yeah, if the economy crashes, people lose a lot of jobs, then they just can't afford their mortgage, then yeah, you're gonna see a big change in home prices, what's on the market, inventory coming available, all that kind of stuff. More foreclosures as well, short sales, like everything. Like the market will change completely as to what we're seeing right now. Yeah, if there's a huge recession, then I might go ahead and revise my prediction to <laughs> maybe like a 35% drop in prices, maybe more, maybe less. Yeah. But leave us a comment, let us know what you think will happen. And once again, if you're looking to buy or sell home in beautiful Venice, Florida, or anywhere in the area, Make sure to call, text, or email us. I am a local realtor. Here, my information will be in the description box below. Phone number is 941-221-1897. Call or text at any time. We're always going to be your best interest and happiest in mind when buying or selling a home in the area.